Ann Street. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the member in charge of the Electricity Open Brackets Renewable Preference Close Brackets Amendment Bill and reads, is it her intention to proceed with the first reading of the Electricity Renewable Preference Amendment Bill? If so, why? Moana Mackey. Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. Yes, it absolutely is my intention to proceed with the first reading of the Electricity Open Brackets Renewable Preference Close Brackets Amendment Bill. And the reason that I want to is because this bill is an important first step to meeting the current government's two targets. Firstly, a 90 per cent, uh, that 90 per cent of our electricity generation be from renewable sources by 2025. And secondly, the national government's target of a 50 per cent reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. Uh, Mr Speaker, this bill is an important first step in introducing a range of measures that will help us to meet those targets. Currently, we are not on track uh, to meet those targets. The Honourable Jerry Brownlee himself has indicated the importance of this bill when he said in the repeal of this measure that the previous Labor government put in place that in fact what we needed was order, the price order. on carbon. Now, the we currently order. do not have. I invite the member before she prepares for her next question, if there is one, to look at uh, Standing Order 383. Um, supplementary question? Supplementary. The Honourable Mary Ann Street. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary to the member in charge of the Electricity Renewable Preference Amendment Bill, what would the impact of the bill be on the renewable energy sector? Moana Mackey. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the impact is very, very important indeed. Uh, the best thing that we could do for the renewable energy sector would be to have an adequate price on carbon. As of this morning, Mr. Speaker, that price on carbon was 50 cents. The Honourable Jerry Brownlee himself uh, highlighted the importance of this bill when he said, quote, Reducing carbon emissions in the electricity sector remains a goal, and renewable technology will be encouraged through the emissions trading scheme. Unquote, end quote. National believes that investment decisions in the electricity sector should be made on the basis of sound economics with environmental effects taken into account through a price on carbon. Labor agrees with that. We do not currently have an adequate price on carbon. That's why this member's bill Order. is entirely appropriate and necessary. Question number three, Sue Moroni. Thank you. Um, Mr Speaker, my question...